Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be using some molded stones from the Happy Dotting Company on Etsy. They are from the Multi Mold. It's like a flat, round, molded stone. If you purchase anything from Happy Dotting Company, don't forget to use my discount code, Rachel, Rachel's Rocks Canada. All one word. Um, so I usually let my molded stones dry for about a week before I use them. Uh, so hopefully you have some set aside that you can paint on that are ready. Um, but if not, give it some time, make some up, and I'm going to be still here when you're ready to paint them. Um, so today I'm starting number one of a series. Uh, it's going to be a series of a couple. It might not stop at three, but right now I have three coming for you this week. Um, and this is the first one, and it is a kiwi. It's going to be this most beautiful kiwi you've ever seen in your life. I hope. Um, that's what I'm praying for because I can't say I've ever done this before. So we'll see how it goes. I'm putting two coats of white paint as a base coat to start with so that our colors pop and they're really bright. I want my fruit to be bright. So two coats, let it dry, and then we're ready to go. Now I did forget to hit the record button at a certain spot here and I'm going to explain it the best way I can. I'm starting with darker green around the edge like a kiwi. Um, there will be a brown over top of that slightly and a little bit later. We're going to do that afterwards. But right now I'm using classic green. And then what I'm going to do is using a, the same sponge, I'm going to work my way in and blend some grass green um, next. A, like blending off of that dark green. And then I'm going to add a little bit of white to lighten certain areas and I'm going to finish off with the grass green at the center of the kiwi. So you'll see that in a moment and you're going to be confused because it looks like this one second and then the next second I show you grass green and then poof there it is it's already done. <laughs> so I apologize. I used grass green all the way down to the center and then I stopped in the center uh, and then I used some white to lighten around that center, um, but I forgot to hit record. So I feel horrible and I hope you guys are able to see what it is that I've done. Um, but basically I'm blending with the sponges while the paint is still wet. And I went from dark green to grass green in the center, but then I lightened around that grass green with white. I lightened just a little bit. Looks like a funny green donut. Um, and now I'm adding hair to the donut. <laughs> so this is a bit strange, guys. Um, I swear it's going to look like a kiwi when we're done. A little bit, at least. Just a little bit. So now I'm using my fine lining brush. Um, I've waited for all of my green to dry. When you're using a sponge, it actually puts on a nice even layer and it doesn't take too long to dry. There's no big lumps of like thick paint. It's all one layer and it's, it all dries pretty quickly. So I'm working my way in with some white now. Um, and it's okay if you mix a little bit of grass green in with your white and make it a little bit of a tinted white. Um, it does help with the realism part of making a kiwi. Um, so you can do that for sure. Now I am going to be adding glitter to these fruits in my series, just so you're aware. Just a little heads up. There might not be gold, but there will be glitter. <laughs> so now I am, I've got all my little white hairs on there. I don't even know what these are called. So if you do know <laughs> what these little white things, the little white hairs are called, they look like hairs, but they're not hairs. It's fuzzy on the outside, not on the inside. So don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is now that my paint is dry, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. This is uh, chrome powder or shell powder. It's for nails. You guys have seen me use this stuff lots of times. Um, depending on what you do with it, it has different effects. Um, today, I'm just dabbing it right on there with a makeup sponge in the lighter area where I've lightened it with white. So if you were confused about where I added white earlier, I just sponged on a little bit of white around the ring uh, to lighten it a little bit between the darkest green and the center green, the grass green. So I just wanted to lighten it. 
Um, this kind of looks like an eyeball if there were a pupil. <laughs> looks a little bit like a human eyeball. Um, so I'm just dusting on. This glitter is kind of like a goldish green. Um, you definitely don't have to use that. It's totally up to you what you want to do with your uh, with your kiwi. I know you've never seen a sparkly kiwi before, but today you are. <laughs> and if you can't really see the sparkle right now, we're going to see it much better under uh, a nice coat of resin after we do the resin reveal. So I'm excited for that. So now I'm going to go in, now that I've got my glitter, you can definitely use some... Um, triple thick or even Mod Podge to hold that glitter in place, which I will be doing. But I'm going to do some little green lines now, just like I did with the white. Uh, I'm using classic green, so it's that same color that's already around the center. And I'm just bringing it out a little bit further than those white lines. You can't really see those white lines very well. I'm going to be sponging inside of there to, to clean those little white lines out. Um, but right now I'm just kind of blending in that classic green or grass green um, in with those white lines to just kind of blend them in a little bit more. And it's going to look more and more like a kiwi as we go along, or, or at least I'm hoping. <laughs> Once again, I'm hoping. Do you guys like kiwi? I had a bad experience with kiwi when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure it was the kiwi. Um, at a family picnic and it was just like roasting on a table with a bunch of other food roasting in the sun and I loved kiwi so I ate so much of it after it roasted in the sun that I was sick 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 so it was not a fun experience and I actually don't eat we eat I don't eat we kiwi any longer I don't eat it mm -mm. no that was enough for me I don't know if you've ever tried alcohol before and something like made you sick. Can you go back to that alcohol again? <laughs> no, you cannot. So yeah, I, I stay clear from kiwi, but I still love it. I still think it's beautiful. <laughs> I still wanted to paint it today. So nothing against the kiwi. It was because it was sitting in the sun roasting, which isn't good for you. <laughs> I still wonder to this day if anyone else was ill from the kiwi. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was a long time ago. But don't leave your food out on a table in the sun, people. Um, just a warning. Fair warning. <laughs> so I did sponge the center. I add a little bit of green to the white. And I sponged out the center. And now I'm letting that center dry. And I'm going to make some little seeds. So I'm mixing a little bit of burnt umber, like a dark brown, and some black. So it looks almost black, but it's not quite black. It's a little bit brown. And I'm going to take a little dotting tool. And I'm just going to start dotting in some little kiwi seeds. And you just kind of bunch them in like a little line of them here and there. You can throw one off off to the side, off out away from everyone else because it's trying to escape. Um, just be random, just like I, I always do. Just be random with it. Um, make sure you don't do too many or it's going to, people are going to be like, what, what is that? Um, and don't do them too big. Just take a look at pictures of kiwis and that way you can judge for yourself how many seeds you want to put and where you want to place them. It's totally up to you. Um, I did sponge the center out, as you can see. Some of my white lines went into the center really far and you could see them and it, it made it look a little strange. So I sponged those out, made a nice soft uh, light green center. Very, very light green. Barely any green in the white, to be honest. We've got some little escapee seeds. Put them wherever you want, guys. Just have fun with it. And take a look back. Look over at something and look back. Make sure you're, you're looking at it from a different point of view. And don't make it like a perfect circle in the center of the kiwi because that's not how real kiwis are. Um, so just be be odd with it. Be odd. <laughs> now that I'm going to let that dry, I'm going to do the fuzzy part on the outside, although it's not going to look very fuzzy. I'm mixing maple syrup and uh, camel together to make like a, a nice brown 
for the kiwi and I'm going to sponge that on, but I don't want to sponge it up too high. I still want to see that dark green there. So I'm just basically the whole back of this rock and the sides are all going to be this, this beige color, this, the fuzzy part of the kiwi. It's going to be the fuzzy brown. So that's just what I'm going to do around the whole thing. And everything else is looking delicious. It almost makes me want to eat kiwi again. I, I can't believe this. I might be recovered. <laughs> I might actually be recovered, you guys. It looks really pretty. I like all that glitter. So I'm actually going to add a little bit of glitter just to the center now that that paint is dry. Just a tiny bit, not too much. And then I'm going to put a little bit of triple thick on top of all this glitter once all the paint is dry. Just so that it stays where it's supposed to stay. And I'm going to show you um, how much nicer it looks. I'm going to do another coat of brown, um, but I'll show you how it looks even nicer once we resin it. First, like I mentioned already, I'm going to use some triple thick and a sponge, and I'm going to sponge right over top of all, all that glitter to keep the glitter in place. I don't want it to move, although it would look beautiful if it did. I'm just kind of using the glitter to accentuate the lighter areas on the stone. So um, I kind of want to keep it where it is. So you can use clear glue, you can use Mod Podge, you can use triple thick. Um, it's totally up to you. Let it dry and then you can seal it with whatever you're going to seal it with. I personally um, use Art Resin. It's non-toxic um, and it's like one of the best kinds of resin that you can use. So I'm going to use resin and to seal mine and I will show you what it looks like. Uh, in a few minutes, you guys are going to fall in love. I just know you are. Um, so stay tuned. This is the first one in our our fruit series. So um, just be patient. And don't forget to keep an eye out for the other ones that are coming out. So, oh no. It shrunk, you guys. Oh no. This is not good. Like I use the same kind of resin I always do. And then, oh, <laughs> just kidding. That is a phone grip. <laughs> I thought I would try and have fun with you guys. Yeah, I made a Kiwi phone grip as well. Um, I'm going to be putting all of these into my Etsy shop at some point, And hopefully you guys see the beauty in them as much as I do because they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, look at the glitter in that. You guys, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It makes me want to eat kiwi. It really does. It makes me want like a fruit salad um, with some kiwi in it. <laughs> Let me know, you guys, what you think of it in the comments. And make sure you stay tuned for the other ones coming up in this series. Uh, let's look at it uh, under the light. Look at that glitter. Oh, my goodness. It's gorgeous, you guys. I just want to say I love you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your patience and coming back, um, being loyal to me each and every time. So I want to say I love you. Keep painting. Bye.